Hello Tube. This is once again a shot on my home theater PC slash file uh, file share PC, if you want to call it that. It's pretty my file server and HTPC and one. And uh, this is XBMC as you can see here. Which is, uh, you know, at first I was uh, going to run OpenSUSE on here, which didn't quite work out as I mentioned in a previous video. And then I tried Linux Mint, which worked pretty much perfectly. Aside from the fact that uh, XBMC was very laggy and slow and stuff. So I decided to give OpenELEC a shot, which uh, stands for uh, Open Embedded Linux Entertainment Center. So, that's the distribution that I'm running right now. It's the latest version, which uh, has XBMC 13.1 Gotham on it. And that is what it looks like. It's just regular XBMC, really. It doesn't boot into an X11 desktop. For instance, KDE or GNOME or XFCE, LXD, whatever. It just boots into oh, XBMC here. So it doesn't need to load the X11 stuff on the background, so it can boot immediately to XBMC, which means you have a lot more resources left so we can actually do stuff on here. It's perfectly smooth. It's as fast as I've ever seen XBMC, on Linux at least. It's, it's very easy to set up. I'll, I'll uh, make a separate video on that, but you know, I'm just going to take a, a real quick tour of my settings here. So, it's uh, hooked up through Ethernet Gigabit, of course. I have Samba enabled so I can actually share the files that are on the one terabyte drive in there to my network so I can actually open some of my files. Because it's not just media that's on this PC, but also just my data. For instance, uh, operating system images and whatnot. Bluetooth, we don't have that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is OpenELEC 4.0.7 64-bit version, so... Actually, it has UEFI built in, so that was pretty nice. It also will work on very old PCs as well, but, uh, you know... Like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on how to set up this stuff. Because it's really freaking easy, but, you know... it's it's. I think making a video of that is really a good way to show that it's just a matter of minutes to get this thing set up and get open you know, like running on pretty much any PC. I've, I have some very exotic hardware laying around here with uh, ULI chipsets and ULI Ethernet and stuff and all that work. The stuff worked out of the box with open so that was really really amazing. I never expected that to work because Windows has difficulties with that and most other Linux distributions do as well. So that was actually pretty cool. But uh, you might want to see this stuff in action here. So I have my weather set up so actually see what the weather is like, what's going to be. It says it's 22 degrees outside. Well, I guess that's fairly accurate, that's about it. 88% humidity, yep. We have some, uh, quite some, well, we've had some thunderstorms around here, so. The clock is uh, set incorrectly, I have to change the time zone, but because it's in fact not 1847, but it is 2047. But that's all fine and dandy. So, let's just, uh, get some stuff rolling here. I have a music library, I just have to browse to my disk here and then I go to my music folder. I haven't actually opened a music folder yet so it's just going to uh, get all the media in there. As you can see, smooth as butter. <laughs> And it all works as well. I believe I don't have uh, the sound hooked up at the moment, so I'll just hit pause. And I have in fact not plugged in the 3.5mm jack. I am very smart sometimes. There we go. I'm trying to not get this video very shaky. I'll make sure that uh, the volume is down before I actually resume. So that works. I don't want to copyright Nazis after me, so I'm not going to bother too much uh, showing too much of that content. I can also just browse all the media that's on my disk once again. But I believe I have video add-ons in here. There we go. For instance, let's just uh, check out Cinemasker here. 
which is of course the Angry Video Game Nerds uh, Productions, otherwise known as, uh, you know, by his real name, James Rolfe, of course. Ooh, Contra. Let's check that out. Here's a Contra game that isn't talked about so much. Contra Legacy of War. I have never played it. See, that works just fine as well. And even in the background, it will actually resume playing just fine. I don't actually bother with the video and settings too much yet. Currently just opening an SD stream, but HD media will play just fine as well. You know what, I'm actually going to close this in the background for now. And actually browse to some HD content. Let's see, we've got some Futurama here, Season 7. In 720p. And it looks absolutely gorgeous on this 27 inch 1080p screen. And of course, once again, we're going to cut it out because we don't want to copyright Nazis after us. Okie dokie. So that's pretty much the demonstration and a little bit of explanation on uh, my upgrade. I want to call it that, uh, to open ELAC on my HTPC slash file server PC right here with uh, the gorgeous uh, AMD AM1 platform. I'm really loving this so far. And uh, I'm definitely going to enjoy this system a hell of a lot more now. Especially because uh, this Apple keyboard here, all of the media keys, for instance, just to, you know, pause and play and whatever, volume control, all that stuff works on Linux. It doesn't work on Windows, of course, because it's just Microsoft, you know. But uh, all the media buttons work just fine in uh, Linux and OS X, so it's fine for using all my Hackintosh and on uh, stuff like this with Linux. So anyway, before I get carried away too much, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you all for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and uh, comment and uh, subscribe if you want to uh, see more of this kind of content. So uh, have a good one, everybody, and uh, see you later.